There's no flicker, there's no flame in you. Think we're playing in a game here. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you knew you welcome, I hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, I'm going to be installing this beautiful braided wig using the elastic band method. So I won't be using any kind of glue to secure the wig down. I'm only going to be using the elastic band method and also gel to lay down the baby hair. Okay, so before we start, if you haven't seen the video on how I make this beautiful wig from scratch, I will put the link in the description box down below. So be sure to check out that video. And if you already seen that video, now we can move on to the next step, which is installing the wig. Okay, so, so this is how the wig is looking before adding the elastic band. okay so to start right here i went ahead and put on the wig so next i'm going ahead to adjust it and also making sure to hold down the lace so i'm trying to figure out how tight i need to cut the elastic band in order to secure the wig in place without using any glue so now that i have that figure out i'm going to go ahead and measure out the elastic band so to measure out the elastic band i'm going to place it behind my neck and I'm going to be measuring it from ear to ear. So to measure out the elastic band, I'm pulling on the elastic band at the same time, making sure not to pull it too tight because I don't want to give myself headache when I'm done. So I'm just pulling on it a little bit just to give me that firm hold. So now that that is done, I went ahead and cut the elastic band and I'm going back in to position the elastic band in place to make sure I have the right length. So now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and sew down the elastic band. So to sew down the elastic band, I'm going to be attaching it to the elastic band on the black cap, not on the lace. I'm going to I'm going to attach the elastic band to the elastic band on the black cap. So when measuring at your elastic band, you want to make sure not to cut it too short. If you cut it too short, you will end up giving yourself headache and that is not good. So that's why you have to go back in to recheck the length after you cut the elastic band to make sure you have the right length. It's okay if it's a bit loose, but it's not good if it's a bit too tight because that would be too uncomfortable for you. So you want to make sure to have the right length length okay so once you have the right length go ahead and sew it down like i said attach it to the elastic band on the black cap okay okay so now that i'm done sewing down the elastic band i'm going ahead to tie the tray to secure it in place so next I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess straight and also I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side of camera. Okay, so this is how the wig is looking after attaching the elastic band. So for the next step, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut off the excess lace and I'm doing this tracing around the hairline and also making sure not to go over the hairline so i'm just being careful and cutting it gently along the hairline okay that is all done looks good so the the lace is a bit too light for my skin so i'm going to be using my foundation to tint it so i'm going to be using my foundation and a foundation brush so i'm going to be applying the foundation on the lace part of the wig Okay, so now that that is done, I'm going back in to put on the wig. And next, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the lace before going ahead to trim the baby hair. Okay, so next, I'm going ahead to uh, cut and trim the baby hair.
Okay, so this is how the wig is looking so far. Before going ahead to lay down the baby hair, I haven't applied any gel as you can see, but the wig stays in place. Look at that, look at that. Where is the lace? Where is the lace? It's in place, the wig is in place. But to add that magical touch to the wig, I'm going to be using gel to lay down the baby hair and uh i'm going to be using this gel right here the gel this very gel is awesome when it comes to laying down baby hair on a lace frontal or a lace closure this this very gel is good for that but for my natural hair no 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 but anyways right here i'm just going ahead to create a wave on the baby hair oh my god i want to scream how good this this wig looks but i can't scream because I don't want to wake up the neighbors. Okay, the one need to ask me what's going on, so I'm just gonna shush, shush it. Okay, so now that I'm done, uh, lay down the baby hair right here. I'm going in with a hairband, and I'm gonna wrap that around it. So this will help to lay it flat and I'm just going to let that sit for a few minutes. Okay, time to take out the hairband and see what's cooking. Okay, so for the final touch up, I'm going in with some bobby pin to secure the back of the wig in place. So I placed one bobby pin on the back, uh, sorry, on the right side and one on the left side so to help to, to secure it in place. Alright, so this is the final result after applying the gel, the elastic band and I love, 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 love it! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. If you already subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And I'll see you in my next one.